Everything I do, I do it with a passion. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna stop me from making it happen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Poetry Justice. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And today, I'm going to talk about my process moving to Texas. If you guys watched my introduction video, then you guys know that I said that I have moved to Texas due to a prior situation that had happened before I came here. So I moved to Texas at the end of February. I'm going to be Black History Month and I literally moved there on the 29th of February 2020 and that's because this year was a leap year so that's why it was the 29th um, I was very adamant about moving here due to the situation that I was in now what you guys don't know is that I was already planning to move to Texas but it was supposed to happen in November of this year. And it ended up happening in February of this year. So I had already manifested being here and everything like that. It happened earlier than it was supposed to, which I am grateful for because I had, you know, my mother's assistance and other family members' assistance to get me here. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Um, so I'm very, very happy to be here because this was already in full effect. Like this was already talked about and everything like that. I may not be where I want to be right now, but I'm happy that I'm here because like, I was just like, I'm going to move to Texas. I'm going to move to Texas. Like, I have been talking about Texas forever ago so to be here is it, a great thing but I did want to come on here and just kind of let you guys know what's been going on since I moved here so when I moved here at the end of February right you know I, I, all my all my things just packed up ready to go I went from where I was at to Virginia and then I came here I'm not going to go into full detail about what happened because it's very traumatizing for me. I will tell you guys that it's traumatizing. So since I've been here, I started working the beginning of March and I started working at Goodwill. The only reason I started working there is simply because my mother was the manager of um, one of the locations so that's how I was able to get the job in the spot and you know I'm grateful for that too too grateful to have a job already set up for me when I get here that way I won't have to do much worrying about anything um, I was very, very adamant about not wanting to live with my mother. Not that I don't love my mother, because I do. It's just that, you know, I got so accustomed to being in my own space that I run in my own space again. You know, to be able to do the things that I want to do when I want to do it. So, yeah. So I lived with my mother for about like a month. Like yeah, it was it was that type of point. I was like yeah, I lived with her from the beginning of the end of February, the, the end of March, uh, kind of sort of March. It was the end of February and like uh, the beginning of April. I moved out the beginning of April. Like I was out of there, had my apartment, you know, just was doing it, doing it. Like, you know, I signed the lease, got my apartment for six months, and here we are. And then, like, in the, I 
I want to say what it's also if I had gotten transfer for um I had gotten a transfer for my job that I was already working before I had left the other state that I was in. So I had two jobs already set up. The only reason I couldn't start my second job is because of the fact that one, the manager didn't have my paperwork ready so I didn't have a schedule. And so I couldn't start. So, you know, I was constantly calling, you know, to see when I could start and everything like that. And then, out of nowhere, COVID-19 hit. Just when I had moved here, COVID-19 hit. But you know what? I'm grateful to be here when COVID-19 hit because had COVID-19 hit when I was in the other state that I was in, I wouldn't know what to do. So to to be around family, that's everything for me. Like I'm too too grateful for that. Like for that. Um, so COVID nineteen hit, and I was working the one job at Goodwill before um, when it had hit, and then. Like I had just started working at Goodwill and I had transferred stores. So I was at one store and then transferred another store. Right when I transferred to that store, they decided to say we shut the state down. So I had only worked at Goodwill for about like three weeks until COVID-19 hit. COVID-19 hit, they shut the state down and a majority of the people are out of a job. So, what do you do? What do you do? When you just moved down here and you get hit with a pandemic. What do you do? So, you know what I did? I enjoyed myself. Why? Because I mean, I'm naturally an introvert. Going outside gives me the runs. Not literally, but figuratively. Gives me the runs. Like, I don't like being outside. I don't really like being around people because you don't know what's going to happen. Okay? So I was happy with being in my apartment, watching my Netflix, YouTube, starting up my YouTube channel again, doing what I like to do because now I have time to do it. Um, yeah. So then after that, like we in COVID, we in the pandemic, they decide around, cause yeah, they decide in April. Okay, we gonna open a lot of states back up. But we was just out. No, no, no. They decide at the end of April, beginning of May, that they gonna open the states back up. But we just had a whole almost month out of work. And you wanna open the states back up? And because they opened the states back up, the COVID-19 pandemic, they, they have so many cases out where people have COVID-19. Why did you open the states back up? Just to turn around and have to say, y'all, we may have to close the states again. You think? So people are going to be out of a job again. People are going to be dying from COVID-19. And to make it even worse, we're in a pandemic and cops is killing black people. I feel like this was a whole setup. Okay, let's put them in a pandemic. Let's open the states back up. 
let's get these black people out here and then okay just decide to kill them one by one by one by one by one i seen on social media the other day that there were some officers that hung four black individuals during a pandemic this is a whole setup. Like, I don't care what nobody said. So, that's, that's what's been going on. I've been seeing, you know, Black Lives Matter everywhere. I've been working. Now, I'm working very, very hard since I have two jobs now. And I only have one day off. So, I'll be trying to, you know, work and do my YouTube and be about Black Lives Matter and be about LGBTQ and be about disability rights and being an advocate for myself when it comes to disabilities. Like, I have just been doing so much but it seems like so little and like, I've been doing a lot. Especially trying to put these videos out for YouTube Like, I have to come up with content ideas by myself. That is hard. Coming up with content for your channel by yourself. You ain't got no manager telling you, oh, yeah, make this so you can attract an audience. You ain't got no team behind you. You ain't got no branding, no none of that. Just doing it by yourself. And that's the reason why my schedule is the way it is. Because if I decide, okay, Friday, I don't want to make a video. But I know y'all going to get a video on Monday. Because I don't have to be to work until um, almost 11.30 on a Sunday. So I got that time block right there where I can make a video and y'all get it on Monday. Because sometimes I just be tired or I'll like make a video or if I have the energy to make a video, I'll make a video. But if I don't have the energy, I'll end up like making a video on Wednesday or Friday because I know, okay, Wednesday is my last day of work. I'm off Thursday. I'm going to shit on Thursday. So let me make this video on Wednesday so that it'll be out for Friday. Like, I be so in my mind when it comes to trying to make videos and put out content for you guys and stuff like that. Like, I be really trying to just think the shit. Even though, yeah, you can write it down. For me, that's not going to do anything because I want to be as authentic as I can possibly be. Like I said before, not that I wasn't authentic on my channel when I did it the first time around. It's just that now I'm going to say, like, yo, I'm going to talk about real shit. Like, I'm going to talk about real shit. I'm going to show you guys, you know, the talents that I have. And whether you gravitate towards the video or not, that's not my problem. There has to be something that you like about me for you to watch me. So, I'm not going to be upset if, oh, my subscriber count is very upset. Because it's very upset for a reason. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get where I need to be. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna take my time. And I think that was the thing that when I did my channel the first time around. I was so worried about subscriber count. I was so worried about people watching my videos. I was so worried about oh, I can't put this out because oh, this may, you know, affect some people. So, I have to be very cautious about 
the things that I say when I make my videos. And I learned that from when I did my channel the first time around. Like, don't say people's names. Don't be, yeah. Like, don't do that. You can be authentic without having to mention people in your video. Because that, that ain't cool. And also, um, like I said, they are planning on shutting down the states again. So that means people going to be collecting unemployment again. And I heard that they may possibly shut my job down. Like, my job ain't going to be no good if they shut down the state again. Like, you won't be able to step your foot in that um, facility anymore. You won't be able to step your foot in that store no more. It'll be over. So then I'm out of a job. That's why it's crucial for you to save your money because you don't know what's going to happen. I spoke to a relative of mine, right? And they told me that California, Florida, and Texas may possibly shut down. But my whole thing is, what about Atlanta? Atlanta got mad cases right now. Because I be, I be paying attention, but I will be talking about it. Atlanta got mad cases right now. Like, mad cases. And the state just wide open. Everybody just going everywhere. Wide open. How come Atlanta is not on that list? I don't know about Georgia and its entirety, but Atlanta, Georgia, yo, that case, they COVID-19 is all over that, okay? COVID-19 is all over that. And I'm just like, because I was supposed to be in Georgia this month. I was supposed, because it's an annual thing for me. Like, I go to Georgia every June and every December. Okay, every June and December, I go to Atlanta. I spend the summer out there for like two or three weeks, depending, depending. Now I can't do that, because I'm working. But, spend the summer out there also because of COVID-19. Spend the summer out there for like two or three weeks. Then I come back, chill out, then I go back over there for Christmas and New Year. Can't do none of that. Like, COVID just messed up all of my plans, okay? All of my plans that I had, you know, I was going to do photography, you know, kind of learning on the back end, but also be in front of the camera. I wanted to just do so much. And I can't do everything that I want to do, even though I feel like I can't. This YouTube thing, it works for me because I know how to schedule myself to the video. But, yeah, working, doing YouTube, that's, that's, that's my life right now in this moment. Now, I have another video for you guys, so be on the lookout for that one. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. I don't know if these baby bitches swim too cold. I got three different numbers, like an Uri code. I don't shop with these niggas, cause they selling they souls.